Meantime, let's welcome in Sergeant Stephen Glass. He's with the Indiana State Police, Peru District, for more on this investigation. Uh, Sergeant, thanks for your time. Any leads at this point in finding this teen? Uh, so, yeah, right now we are looking into and exploring several different avenues. Uh, but again, respect with respect to the ongoing investigation, uh, we would li not like to disclose the measures that we are taking. Uh, however, the NSA police would like the public uh, to know that we are diligently working towards finding Bryson, uh, and we will use every resource available to us in doing so. Understood. There are some things that you cannot stay, but in terms of the public looking out for this teen, is it focused on Indiana and Ohio, or does it go across state lines? Yeah, so as of right now, it's pretty localized here in Indiana, uh, specifically around Logan Sport and stuff, yes. Okay. Uh, how about the parents' cooperation? Our report just indicated that they had planned on coming in for a meeting. Are you all in contact with the parents? Uh, as of right now, we are in contact. Uh, they did get legal counsel. Uh, they were. Uh, they were. Uh, um, they did agree upon meeting last week uh, at noon at our Indiana State Police crew post. However, uh, backed out uh, right before that, which uh, signaled uh, an unwillingness to cooperate, and uh, they sought legal counsel. So, yes, we are in contact with their legal counsel uh, to try and get to the parents. What more, Sergeant, can you share about the last time that Bryson was seen, his location, and the extent of any injuries he had at the time? Yeah, so the last time that Bryson Muir was, uh, was last seen was uh, leaving a family member's uh, residence in Ohio. Uh, it was called in by a family member. A uh, traffic stop was conducted on the vehicle that was driven by mother, uh, Kristen Muir, uh, and Bryson was not in the vehicle. So that would have been the last time we've seen him would have been on that June 16th in that VO, well, leaving the parents' home. Our report indicated that his father is a person of interest in the case. Can you elaborate at all on his potential involvement? So what I can tell you is that the mother and the father are both uh, parties of interest, and we would like to uh, speak with them. We have a lot of questions that we need answers to as to the injuries that Bryson sustained. What is the level of concern and danger he may be in right now? Uh, as of right now, he's still missing and considered in, uh, considered, uh, in danger. How are you coordinating, Sergeant, with investigators in other areas, particularly uh, as we hear of allegations that there may be some involvement of this religious group in Tennessee. Yeah, so we are in contact with uh, some, some agencies. Obviously, we all like to uh, use our resources available to us, and we all work together because ultimately uh, we want to find Bryson. We want to find Bryson and not only make sure that he is okay, but we want to make sure that he is safe. Uh, with regards to the relig religious organization, uh, we do not have much information other than what is currently being talked about by the public. Uh, however, regardless of the religious organization, uh, the Indiana State Police will not stop trying to find uh, Bryson. That's our ultimate goal. We want to get eyes on him. Have there been calls before about Bryson's safety and any domestic issues that Indiana police and others are aware of? We do not have any information on that as far as uh, prior involvement of being in danger. The call that came in was from the grandmother. Does Bryson have any social media that you all have been able to glean any evidence or clues from? I do not have any information on Bryson's uh, social media um, information. What is your message, Sergeant, to the public in Indiana and elsewhere uh, to be able to help and assist you all in this case to bring this boy home safely? You know, the Indiana State Police is, uh, we're looking for any information to point us in the right direction to find Bryson. Uh, we know someone out there has information, and we ask that they do the right thing and come forward. Uh, if they do uh, have any information on Bryson Muir, please contact the Indiana State Police uh, Peru Post at 765-513-9907 or simply dial in 911. The parents you mentioned have lawyered up. What is the message to them at this point? You know, uh, do the right thing. You know, our, our kids are our most prized possessions. We want to make sure that they're all safe and okay. Um, please come forward, please do the right thing, and let's talk about it and, and, and find Bryson, make sure he's okay and win and get through it. Does Bryson have any siblings, Sergeant, anybody, any other kids in the custody of these parents? I do not know. Okay. Uh, Sergeant Stephen Glass, uh, I'll let you get back to work, but we'll be in touch. Uh, thank you for your time and, and what you can share about this ongoing search. Uh, we hope Bryson is home safely soon. We'll stay on the case. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.